Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about uh, another category of sensors or transducers uh, which is the temperature sensors. So as the name suggests, it is uh, used for the measurement of temperature of an object or an entity. So the sensor, the specific sensor or transducer which we are going to uh, discuss is the resistance temperature detector. Uh, in short form it is called as RTD, okay, resistance temperature detector. So let us get started. So what is a resistance temperature detector or RTD? So as I said, <coughs> it is a category of or it is a type of temperature sensor which is used for the measurement of surrounding temperature or temperature of a particular object or entity. Now, <clears throat> RTDs or resistance temperature detectors are made up of metals. Now, those metals possess a unique property. So, what is that property? So, basically, the resistance of those metals, those selected metals which are used for fabrication of RTD exhibit a change in their resistance with respect to the surrounding temperature. So the resistance of those RTD metals change with change in temperature. This is the operating principle, this is the property which is utilized for the fabrication of RTD. We are also going to discuss about the specific mathematical expression for the same in the upcoming slides. So this is the main operating principle of RTD. There is a change in the resistance of the metals with a change in the surrounding temperature. So the RTDs are passive transducer, it means they require an external voltage supply for their operation. They, they are not self-generating, they cannot generate their own voltage. They only respond by a change in resistance. That change in resistance is converted into a change in voltage with the help of an external voltage supply and a signal conditioning circuit which we are going to discuss. Now which metals are used for sensor fabrication? The commonly used metals are platinum, nickel, iron, tungsten, aluminium, copper. Now, out of these metals, platinum is the preferred metal for RTD. Okay? Platinum is the most commonly used metal. So, this is the main choice for fabrication of RTD. Okay? So, <clears throat> now we are going to discuss about the operating principle. Now, as I said, the main operating principle of the operation of RTD is that they respond to the change in the surrounding temperature with the change in the resistance of the metals. So, what causes this change in the resistance of the metals? Now, we all know that the metals are basically crystalline in structure. They are composed of metal ions and free electrons. So, when an external DC potential is applied across the metal, obviously there will be a flow of electrons in the metal in both directions. So, when the electrons move, they collide with the other metal ions and free electrons. This collision results in a decrease in the velocity of the moving electrons. As the mobility of electrons is restricted, it causes an increase in electrical resistance. Okay? The mobility of electrons or the movement of electrons which is restricted due to collision of the electrons with the metal ions and free electrons, the neighboring metal ions and free electrons results in the electrical resistance which we are, we, we talked about the resistance of the metal. Now, this resistance of metal increases with increase in surrounding temperature. 
try to correlate these three points ok movement of electrons and their collision with the other metal ions and free electrons causes electrical resistance now that electrical resistance is dependent is directly related with the surrounding temperature ok when the surrounding temperature increases the electrical resistance of metals decreases eh, sorry increases and when the surrounding temperature decreases the electrical resistance of metals also decreases so this it is directly proportional the electrical resistance of metals is directly proportional to the surrounding temperature this is called as positive temperature coefficient of metals which are used for uh, fabrication of rtd okay the electrical resistance of rtd elements is directly proportional to the surrounding temperature now the resistance range for platinum rtd which is the preferred uh, metal for fabrication of rtd is from 10 ohm to several thousand ohms this is the resistance range so try to correlate these three points the restriction of the movement of electrons due to collision with other metal ions and free electrons causes an electrical resistance that electrical resistance is directly proportional to the surrounding temperature these are the two key points related to rtd now rtds are available in many configurations many designs this these are the two uh, preferred designs or uh, configurations of the resistance temperature detector first is the wire wound type rtd which consists of a bobbin with metallic wire which is platinum wire wound over it with two contact leads which are connected to the dc voltage source and the other configuration is in the form of a thin film rtd which consists of a substrate with thin films or layers of or sheets of platinum or any other metal with contact leads which are connected to the DC voltage source ok these are the main two configurations or design configurations of RTD now coming to the uh, mathematical relationship between resistance and temperature it is given by the following expression ok here R subscript T is the resistance of the RTD element at a certain specific temperature T ok which is given by R subscript O into 1 plus alpha into T minus T subscript O and uh, another expression is R subscript T which is equal to R subscript O into 1 plus alpha into T minus T subscript O plus beta into T minus T subscript O whole square now here alpha and beta are the positive temperature coefficient of resistance T0 or T subscript O is the reference temperature certain reference temperature is selected which is used for uh, giving us uh, for reference purposes ok a certain any temperature can be selected as reference now R subscript O is the resistance of the RTD element at that re reference temperature ok R subscript O is the resistance of the RTD element at temperature reference temperature T subscript O. <coughs> Try to uh, understand uh, the relationship between uh, the resistance and surrounding temperature for a RTD sensor and note down these expressions. Now the first expression is for narrow temperature ranges for small variation in temperature whereas for the second expression is for large variation in temperature ok so these are the two expressions now uh, there is a mathematical expression for the temperature coefficient of resistance alpha which is determined by measuring the resistance of the RTD at two temperatures let us say T2 and T1 ok T2 is higher than T1 <coughs> so it is given by R2 minus R1 by R1 T2 minus R2 T1 here R1 is the resistance of the RTD at temperature T1 R2 is the resistance of the RTD at temperature T2 
So, by the above uh, formula, the positive temperature coefficient alpha is calculated. Okay, note down this expression. Now, here are some of the uh, selected metals which are used for fabrication of RTD with the temperature coefficient alpha. Okay, for nickel, it's point. 0067 okay these are alpha values and these are the metals which are used for fabrication of rtd tungsten it's 0 0.0048 for iron it varies from 0 0.002 to 0 0.006 for aluminum it's 0 0.0045 for copper it's 0 0.0043 for lead it's 0 0.0042 and for silver it's 0 0.0041 now as I said, uh, in order to convert the resistance change into suitable voltage or current change, we have to use a signal conditioning circuit. Now, there are two choices. As resistance change is involved, we can either use a Wheatstone bridge or a voltage divider circuit. Now, here the Wheatstone bridge uh, method is used. The RTD is connected as one of the in the one of the arms of the Wheatstone bridge, one of the four arms and is treated as a resistance. So and a DC voltage source is connected across the opposite ends and on the other two ends the output voltage is taken or a <coughs> pointer or a galvanometer is connected. Now when uh, the, the, the Wheatstone bridge is calibrated for a specific temperature, the reference temperature at which the pointer shows zero deflection or null deflection. When the temperature <coughs> changes from the reference temperature, there will be a change in the resistance of the RTD. As a result of that, the bridge will become unbalanced and the pointer will point to a specific value. It will show deflection which will indicate that there is a change in the surrounding temperature. Another way to do that is by connecting the <coughs> RTD element in one of the arms of the voltage divider configuration and the output voltage is taken across the RTD element. So here the other arm resistance is constant and whenever there is a change in the surrounding temperature the resistance of the RTD changes and so does the output voltage which is taken across the RTD element and it's treated as a resistance. So these are the two methods of uh, signal conditioning for RTD as it is uh, based on change in resistance. So here we have discussed uh, the basic concept related to RTD temperature sensor along with the design, operating principle and mathematical expression and signal conditioning. So, in my upcoming videos, I will be posting a lot of videos related to other sensors and transducers. So, please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.